Hello, brothers and sisters. Today is July 16th, 2019. I'm going to share a recent vision I had and a dream I just had with you. But first, I'd like to reshare this video I posted in the past so that they make more sense to anyone watching that may not have seen this past video. So after I play this, then I'll go into the vision and the dream that I recently had and share that with you all. So here we go. Back on January 17th of 2019, I shared a dream I had. And in the dream, my son and I had a brand new two-story house. And it was somewhere in the mountains. It was really beautiful there. And there were tons of trees everywhere, like a very thick forest. The trees there had a beautiful lighter green color that I'd never seen before. And I yelled out loud with pure joy, I love our house. I love where we are. And I felt so safe there and so much peace. My son had a set of toys, like one of those, like Weeble People outdoor sets that all connected together. And he was handing each part of the toy set to me, one at a time. And I told him I would put it together for him. I was taking each each section of his toy set and connecting it to the other sections. And this toy set had a swing, a zip line, which is where you hook yourself to a line and glide through the tree canopy. And there was also a slide. As I connected all of these pieces of the different sections of toys in his toy set, they became real and life-sized. And I knew that my son and son and I were safe there and that we were protected and that no one else could see us or our home. It was like it was a secret place, which reminds me of Psalm 91. Well, I had another dream a while ago and I was with my husband and son and an older friend that I haven't heard from in years. And she is Jewish and doesn't believe in Jesus. A friend named Pam was also there, but I couldn't see her. I could only hear her. And in the dream, we all lived together. Then I told my husband that I wanted to take our son Skylar to the Springs to go on a water slide with him. Then I heard someone say, the park is closing in an hour. What's the point? And I said that I didn't care, that I still wanted to take my son anyway. So then this friend, Pam, that I couldn't see, only here, was worried about what to wear to the springs. And she didn't know if she was dressed right. But then she realized she was worried about something that she shouldn't be worried about. And she was content with what she had on. So we all went to the park and we had to just go to like a ticket booth to pick up our tickets to get on the water slide. And in the dream, I knew that the tickets were very expensive, but they were already paid for in advance. We were all in line except for my old Jewish friend who doesn't believe in Jesus. And I heard her say, to the person who was in charge of the water slide and park. Cha-ching, like meaning that the tickets were way too expensive and she would not be paying for one. Then I was about to ask the same person in charge of the, of the water slide and park if my son could ride down on the water slide with me. And I knew without actually asking them that the answer was yes, he could. I could see the water slide and it was very, very long and it went through the entire park and ended in the spring. There were trees everywhere, like the water slide was in a thick forest. And I was so excited to finally be able to ride on a water slide with my son. So when I woke up from this dream, I knew that the Holy Spirit was showing me that the reason that I couldn't see 
my friend Pam, I could only hear her, meant that she represented an aspect of me, something that I had not yet fully grasped of how God saw me. She represented in the dream my carnal mind, my flesh warring against my warring against the spirit and not being sure about if I still was right with God. Pam in the dream was worried that she wasn't dressed right to go to the park with the water slide. And this represented not being sure if I had on the right garment of the righteousness of Christ. But in the dream, before we all left to go to the park with the water slide, Pam ended up being content with what she had on, which I believe that that was the Holy Spirit showing me that I would understand completely and fully that I am clothed in the righteousness of Christ. And that I am right with God because I believe in the one whom he sent, Jesus. Pam was content in what she was wearing, which I believe means that I will be resting in who God says I am in Christ Jesus. I couldn't see Pam only hear her. Well, I was led to look up the meaning of the name Pam, and it stems from the Greek word Pamphilos, and it means beloved. So the Holy Spirit was teaching me that I need to see myself the way that God sees me because I am in Christ Jesus, his son, and he was telling me that I am his beloved. I'm not going to go into my whole life story, but let's just say that I was a very, very broken vessel and had very deep issues of trusting anyone and was so used to love never being reciprocated. So that developed into a stronghold of believing that I was never going to be truly loved. But the Holy Spirit has really done a good work in me and he still continues to. And I know that he will complete the work he started in me. So he was showing me to just let go and let God and to trust that he loves me. When we were in line at the ticket booth at the park with the water slide, I knew that the tickets were very expensive. And that represented my belief in the finished work of the sacrifice of Jesus and the shedding of his blood on the cross for our sins. And I knew that the tickets were already paid for in advance and that we were about to pick up our ticket and we would be going on the water slide, which I believe that the water slide represents the rapture. My old friend who is Jewish and does not believe in Jesus basically said that the tickets were too expensive, which I believe means unbelievers thinking that Jesus couldn't have possibly paid it all. I also believe she represented Jacob's trouble where God will be dealing with Israel during the great tribulation. And because she was by us, but not in line with us, and we were about to get our tickets and go on the water slide rapture, that we are extremely close to the rapture and the great tribulation, the new dispensation. And in my spirit, I knew these two dreams were connected. Well, today I was just checking some news and just scrolling through headlines and came across an article. And the title of this article is record-breaking 1,140 meter long water slide to open in Malaysia. And the picture at the beginning is of these three men holding a section of a water slide. And I instantly remembered the first dream of being with my son in thick woods and him handing me different sections of a set of toys. And I was then piecing them together and they became real. And also there was a slide in the dream, a zip line and a swing. And this water slide in the second dream, um, both dreams from the slide We're, we're in like a, a thick forest. Sorry, I can't read my writing. And this place in this article, it, it shows a picture of a huge water slide going through the forest. And 
I'd like to read this article to you guys, um, like parts of it. And before I do, I just want to um, say that the dates it says that this, this park will open, I don't believe have anything to do with the date of the rapture. So I'm just going to read parts of it to you now. The download to water slides. The effort usually always exceeds the reward, at least where time's concerned. You climb dozens of steps to reach the slide's entry point, huffing and puffing your way to the top, only to find yourself floundering about in the exit pool mere seconds later. This won't be the case with a new water slide being built in Malaysia right now. And this is like, this is like my dream right here. This is the water slide going through the trees. And so this is an aerial view of, it's called, this park is called Escape. And it stretches a whopping 1,140 meter long. Um, the ride is now under construction at Penang's Escape theme park and looks set to smash the record for world's longest water slide. A four-minute jungle ride, and we know that four is the number for, the, for door, and Jesus is the door. The current holder of the Guinness World Records longest water slide certificate is in Action Park, a theme park in Vernon, New Jersey. It measures 601 meters in length. But unlike the New Jersey version, which is infl inflatable, Escape's new slide is made of fiber-reinforced polymer and will be a permanent structure attached to steel poles. Breaking the world record was never our intention. Uh, said the CEO of Escape Operator Sim Leisure Group in a statement. I'm always baffled by how rides are made so short and quick. I wanted to build rides that last a good few minutes. Once open, the slide will offer a four-minute ride that snakes its way down a 70-meter slope passing through jungle scenery. Huffing and puffing won't be part of the experience either. Visitors will access the slide via a cable car chairlift. Escape is about 30 minutes from Georgetown and offers a variety of adventure activities, including water slides, zip lines, and obstacle courses. So I just wanted to share that. Okay. So now that I've played that, I'd like to share um, a vision that I had on July 13th of 2019. So in the vision, I saw a section of a water slide and I saw rain pouring down on it. Then that vision faded and I had another vision of seeing the very end of the water slide where the water slide meets the water, which I believe means that the rapture is extremely close to taking place. And I'm not certain of what the rain pouring down on the water slide represents, but then also today I had a dream that I was with my husband and son and we were moving out of a house where we were living with that same Jewish friend of mine who doesn't believe in Jesus. And I believe she represents the time of Jacob's trouble. So my husband's son and I were moving out and she wasn't coming with us. And we were moving into a new house. And we had a moving truck. And I was so excited to be moving that I was actually just throwing things into the moving truck. And I was not even putting things in boxes. <laughs> um, and my husband was talking with an old friend of his, and his last name is Hill. 
H-I-L-L. And my old friend's last name also means Hill. Um, in the dream that I had of a widespread panic, I knew that the concert by the band Widespread Panic would be in Altamont, which means High Hill. So the Lord truly is pointing out Hill. And I'm not certain, but I believe he is pointing to Capitol Hill and some event happening there. And then as I was waking up from that dream, I heard, this is the one you've always wanted. So I think maybe the Lord was talking about our new house in heaven, which honestly, I'd be happy being under a tree or in a teepee as long as we're with Jesus where he is. So I just wanted to share this with you all. And I really believe our time is almost up here, brothers and sisters. And the fact that he just showed me the very end of the water slide where it meets the water and the dream he gave me about moving away from my Jewish friend who represents Jacob's trouble and then moving to a new house and then telling me this is the one you've always wanted tells me we are truly at the finish line. I love you all. Please keep trusting and resting in Jesus. And please never forget how much he loves you. And I'd like to end this with a scripture. And it's John 14, 2 through 3. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also.